Hello everyone and welcome back to Goblin Nation. This is video 2 of our Erika to MetaHuman to Unreal Engine video. And now we want to start in Maya. First of all, this is the FB exit we got from Mixamo. Do you remember in the first video we got um, an, a mesh object of Erika? It's a rig, it's a completely fully rigged character with skeleton with uh, skin weights it doesn't have any controllers but we'll get to that very very soon hit subscribe now what i want is i want to make sure that i exclude some things from the actual rig and maybe separate them so we will have um easier and uh, better transition into my uh, into unreal engine and then animate it in unreal engine so to do that, what I need to do is I need to basically detach the, or separate the cloth. So I'll separate this part, which is the hoodie, and I'll separate this part, and also in the back. I'll separate that, and I'll have all three as one FBX. And then I will have her with a different shader for the head, because she kind of want to hide it. So let's start and do this. So the first thing I will basically go and select the um, vases, shift and this, and I want the back of her cloths. And I, if I hit the shift and the greater than, and I go all the way up until I'm sure that it selected everything from her cloth that I want to basically separate, then I think it is. And then I will go to Edit Mesh, and I will make sure that I go to Duplicate. There you go. I'll open up my Outliner. And if I select it, make sure that I'm out of Object Mode. And you can see that if I press on it again, it selects our hood. And I will do Shift and P to plan a, a parent it. And I'll look for this part over here go shift and p and i will select this one that's all i need shift and p and we have these three objects so i'm pretty sure that this is the hood and this is the belt let's rename it and this is our back well, we have all three, which is very, very cool. Another thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that in the actual mesh, we don't have this texture on her face. So what I'll do is I'll just separate that. And I'll open up my hyper shade. In the Harper shader, we'll just go into the favorite Maya shaders and I'll create a Lampert. I'll call it um, Man's Parent Beta. We'll leave it the way it is. And I'm just going to select the faces of the actual head and I will make sure that I assign the material to that. So basically what I'm doing is because we have a meta-human face to Erica, our elf, what I need is I need to, when I bring it into Unreal Engine, I need to make sure that we had um, a assigned shader to an object or a signed shader to part of Erica that we can give it a transparent shader. And you'll see what, what it looks like when we get into Engine. Another thing that I'm thinking of doing is I'll select the body, which is right here, and I will make sure that I see what shader it is. And when I press on that, Maya basically shows me what is a shader that is used for our Erica. If I go to UV, UV editor, you can see what texture it is right here, all the stuff that is attached to Erica. And I can see that in the face, that is one of the um, FBX that we downloaded first. In the first video, if you remember, it was more low poly, but it had, she had uh, a tattoo on her face. This Erica doesn't have it. That means that we're using a different 
shader for the face, which can we can basically add that to our Unreal now Meta Human, but we will not do it in this video in this series. So I can see that this is probably the hood. Um, this part here, it's probably the belt, and I'm pretty sure that this is the the back. But so this is the shadow that they use for the, the cloth or the outfit. And what I'll do is I will take this and I will go into edit and I will say duplicate shading network. So Maya basically duplicated the whole shader for us and he gave it a different name. And I, what I'll do is I will name it cloth pick. It's just because I want to separate them. I will export this and I want to separate in case we want to create a cloth material uh, or a cloth animation to our character. And it's probably something that we will do. So um, we have our hood, belt, and that cloth. I will just select all three and I will assign uh, this shader to them. There you go. So now basically, if I hide these control H, I still have the original into or the original object that is a part of um, Frig. But I really don't need that to the So what I can do is I basically go back and I select by face. I'll select those objects again. Because if you remember, we did duplicate those and gave them the Dexel shader. And now that I've selected those, I'm going to delete them. And now we have nothing that is um, about the her cloth that we want to maybe in the future add some animation. Another thing that we don't need, we don't need her hair. So I can basically take these and delete them. What we'll have now is when I go out of the isolation mode, we have her face or her head then probably can delete uh, her eyes we don't need them and I think she also has eyebrows so and eyelashes so we gonna delete those and uh, that's it if I unhide these cloth objects gift and age so we do have everything untouched now I'm not sure yet about the um, oh, and the arrow I'll prep and limit export then separately. But we'll see how we do that. Instead of Archer Body Mesh, let's call it Bulb. And then we have the eyes. They, for some reason, the naming is really, really off. Make sure that it's called Single Arum. You can see that the naming convention for Mixamo is a little bit wrong. It's a little bit off. The eyelashes, it's basically her skin. So we'll call her Erica Skin Mesh. Okay, so now that we have Erica's face with the different shader, we have a separate object for the cloth that we might need to use as a cloth object using Chaos in Unreal. What I want to do is I want to export that into Unreal Engine. But before we do that, there's one more thing that we need to do. If we want to add a rig, control rig in Unreal, we need to do something else. And how do we do that? It's very easy. Let me just save this file first. We'll save it in models and I will call it Erica and BX. So now that we have our character almost ready or exporting, we did duplicate the faces of the hood, the belt and the back cloths. And we also, if I hide them, we also got rid of them in the original FBX file, which contains everything on the body of Erica. So we do need a little rig so that we can export it and import it into Unreal Engine. And then we will have a nice control rig that can be animated and used inside Unreal. And I'll show you how to do this. 
Now, what you need for this, you need a plugin called Advanced Skeleton. And in the description below, I'm going to leave a link to the Advanced Skeleton plugin, and you can download it and experiment yourself. So in order to do that, I'm going to hit the Advanced Skeleton button right here, which is the orange A. And this is probably going to be closed like this. But really, all you need for this, what we need is the tools and the export. Let's start with the tools. In the tools, we're going, going to go into Name Matcher. And he'll open up this window right here. And as you can see, it kind of recognized that this is a Mixamo rig. And then if I scroll down, these are the names of the joints. If I scroll down, this section, the functions, that's all we need. The first thing, you need to basically go down from the top. Let's select the checks. And what Maya does, or Advanced Skeleton does, it goes over the names, and it populated what the, the, the group is that we need to, the, the top node, which is the hips, which is located right here. And we do have this joint down at the bottom because this is very much games and game engine related, but the hips aids basically the, the grounding or the group node that we need to take priority. And after doing the check, we'll do Create Place Skeleton. Now, when we do that, Advanced Skeleton will do everything we need, and it will populate half of the body first. If I press on this, you can see that it populated half of the body. It goes from the center to the left, and it shows us the names of what we have here, which is nice, which is fine. And after we did this, we go to Show Pull Buckters. And you could see that this is the knee, and this is the wrist or the, the, the elbow, and it's fine. Now you can do straight and pull doctor, and it gives you a, a confirmation that this is what you're going to do with the knee and all that. If we press yes, it did change a little bit of the location. You don't really have to do that because we're going to bring it all into Unreal. So depending if the pull doctor is completely off, if we do undo, you can see that the elbow changed a bit, so it rotated the elbow just a little bit, which is fine. I don't mind that for now. And then I'll do Build Advanced Skeleton. So I went to the Show Pull Vector, and I'm going to do Build Advanced Skeleton. And it takes a few seconds, but you can see how it populates the controls for our rig. Now, when strained, two joints. Press on it once, and it does everything that it needs to do. And now, if I move character or the controllers, you can see that it did what it needs to do. But now all right, we have a little bit of a rig that works and basically you can go ahead and animate that in Maya. So these are the two options, constraint to joints or transfer scanning. We chose constraint to joints and this is good. So we can close this and I'll basically go to Unreal Mannequin Export in the Export section. I'm going to go Mannequin Export. Now, if you open this, you can see that there's Mannequin Unreal Engine 4. Do not use that. You choose either Manny or Quinn. Because it's a female character, we're going to use Quinn. And it says Scale to Match Mannequin. I usually use that, and you, you might see a difference in the character. If I chose Manny, you will definitely see a difference. So let's say Quinn, I press OK. So let's export our character into Unreal after we have made the mannequin skeleton. And of course, we have a rig, even though the rig doesn't really matter because we do have the skeleton and the mesh. Well, let's close up Advanced Skeleton. And all we need, we need to make sure that we understand what are we exporting exactly. So we have the hood, the belt, and the back cloth and once I hide them since we deleted the faces of the the hood and the, the belt and the back um, cloth from the original match we do need her body and we do need her head and her skin so we're gonna select uh, the body and the skin and the head that's really good that's all we need and we do need her skeleton so let's export this as an FBX and export this. Yes, we have a warning, but we can endure that. 
And then what we have to do is export these guys. So we'll export all of them. Just check here to see if they have, yeah, they do have ETH history. So let's delete the history and those. That it by type history. And we'll also freeze transformation on them. So it's all zero, zero. Let's take all three. And that's export selection. And we kind of take the same name that we had used, Erica FBX to rig. And let's say Erica Claus. Boot in cap. Export. Pause. And we are good to go. Now let's open up Unreal Engine and see who we go from there. 